Andrew Vickers, statistician and author of What is a P-Value Anyway? Standing underneath the Brooklyn Bridge. All right, given that many scientific papers report p-values and that many scientists think that the one and only purpose of statistics is to give you a p-value, it's kind of amazing that many scientists can't actually tell you what a p-value is. I mean, I was at this dinner after a conference, I remember I put 50 bucks on the table and said, if you can define the p-value, you can have the 50 bucks. I didn't get any takers. Oh, oh. Uh, do I get the 50 bucks if I can find the p-value? Uh, anyway, there's one of the common mistakes that scientists make uh, when talking about the p-value is that they think it's to do with the probability of the hypothesis. They'll say something like, the p-value is the probability that our findings are due to chance. Now, in fact, the p-value is not to do with the hypothesis, it's to do with the probability of the data. The p-value is the probability we would get data at least as extreme as those observed if the null hypothesis were true. The p-value is the probability of the data or something if the null hypothesis were true. All right, to illustrate the fact that p-values are to do with the probability of the data, not the hypothesis, uh, we're going to bring in Jean-Claude Marceau, French conceptual artist. So, Jean-Claude, what are your ideas? Well, what we thought we would do would be to cloak the Brooklyn Bridge in a huge cloth, thereby giving definition to the p-value. Uh, it's not going to be a little... And expensive. then we would cover downtown Manhattan with an army of enormous inflatable statisticians. All right, so uh, we found a way to uh, illustrate p-values that came in under our production budget. Our uh, producer stumped up for uh, two dice. All right, Ed, I want you to uh, throw the dice. Tell me whether you think that they're loaded or fair. All right, let's see. Whoa, that's two sixes. All right, let's assume that the dice are fair. What's the probability you'd roll two sixes? Oh, well... It's 1 in 6 multiplied by 1 in 6, so 1 in 36. Yeah, that's pretty easy, right? So now, given the fact you just rolled two sixes, what's the chance that the, the uh, dice are fair? Oh, well, that's... Yeah, it's, it's actually pretty difficult to say, right? Uh, the problem we have here is that there are, are an infinite number of hypotheses that the dice are fair, that there's a 20% chance of rolling two sixes, a 50% chance, or a 18.493% chance. And the probability of anything divided by infinity is... Oh, oh, uh, pretty small. Uh, well, you know, some people say zero. Some people say that the question doesn't really make sense. Anyway, the point is, is that the p-value is the probability of the data, that's the two sixes, given the hypothesis that the dice are fair, not the probability of the hypothesis given the data. Now, there's another reason why we can't use a p-value to tell us the probability of a hypothesis. And that is that we get a p-value from analyzing a single study. And it can't tell us anything about the sum total of knowledge on any given subject. For example, there's this theory that cancer is caused by a tapeworm and that you can cure cancer by using this special sort of zapper to, to kill off the tapeworm. Uh, now, imagine there was some study that came out and it supported the idea of the tapeworm theory and that the p-value was a 0 0.04. All right, so we've got with us here, Aaron. Aaron, what's your story? Uh, well, I had breast cancer and I got treatment for it. It worked. And I'm fine now. All right, great. So um, did you have tapeworm? No. Did you have treatment for tapeworm? No. Uh, you know, have tapeworms got anything to do with cancer? Nothing. No, right. I mean, it's an utterly silly theory. And I'm not going to start believing that tapeworms cause cancer on the basis of a single p-value. Now, there's uh, another problem here, which is that a p-value can't distinguish a good study from a flawed one. I mean, it might have been that the patients who received the zapper had different surgery or better chemotherapy or something like that. Uh, and that's just one more reason why we can't use a p-value to tell us the probability that a hypothesis is true.